The Ignite wearing the white jerseys. The Legends on Autism Awareness Day wearing the all black as that's a quick start for the Ignite. The score from Vanderbilt gets the ball and gets his shoulders ahead of James. Finishes early. 12 20 point games this season for Jenkins. Here JJ Lawson had plenty of time to wind up. In 2020, was a part of the G League bubble down in Florida and have worked as a promotional and a developmental organization. But Eric Mika, the 28 year old out of BYU, but it's gotten right back in the hands of the Ignite. Nice job of poking it away, and it sets up Jenkins, who has eight of the 10 points so far. Former national champion and world champion. He's won it at both levels. Fade away with the foul on the baseline. And the harm. Yeah, look at this step back. Good shot right there. And Hardy just comes right underneath him. This one rejected underneath. Lacey James got a whole palm on that basketball. Legends want to run with it. Transition three for Ledoux. And he knocks it down right in front of the Legends bench. Lacey James, the only substitution thus far. Tyler Hall will prepare to sub in. Underneath, London Johnson again. His second. Sane leaps to the board. He wanted the alley-oop attempt. Instead, it's back to Jenkins. 14 points for the Vandy product and former first-round pick. Not available tonight. Did not dress for the Ignite. And the Ignite, their biggest advantage is their youth, right? But their biggest disadvantage is their inexperience. Nice stutter step from Ledoux. He'll go straight to the low block, all the way inside for the Louisiana Tech product. Fresh 14 points, and here's Jetter. Back to Noko, has a lane, but Mogee was there. His floater goes over the top of the outstretched six foot nine Mogee. Great defense, but better offense. This one inside, great defense yet again. This time it sets numbers up for the Legends and King. He only played five minutes in that first quarter, probably limited action to get things started. Here's Hardy, spin move all the way inside, Amari Hardy. Creative to the lane. The physicality that came with it. G League, oh man, don't know if you could slide a textbook under that jump from Mika. <laughs> Three straight misses for the Dallas Mavericks, G League affiliate, and Texas Legends. How about that? Sane elevates on the baseline. Year old showing off, hoping to be a 2024 draft hopeful. This will help. The two handed slam has the ignite on top. Had to will that one to AJ Lawson. Download the James again. Got blocked over the top by Eric Mika. The size of the ignite really causing problems for the Legends lately. I think the best thing Miller does is get rebounds and dribble it up himself at his size. It's like Giannis Antetik. Legends trying to find a rhythm offensively, just 26% from downtown, 41% from the field. Mika, spin move, the big man, crafty inside. He thought he had a foul too. Odiase with an offensive board, and then Jackson all the way back inside had a point blank look. Now there are three different legends fighting for the basketball, and finally Lacey it's Lacey James. That If that possession, tight pass down low taken away, wasn't a big window to get that to A.J. Lawson. How about that rejection from Lacey James? Went in between a couple Ignite players. Couple stops here, the legends. And brought it back within 13. Johnson underneath somehow got that one to fall. Justin Jackson, uncharacteristic night shooting. There's Miller showing off his touch. Texas only led by as much as three before the Ignite really took over in the second quarter. Jetter wants it all alone and he drills it with a hand in his face. Two point game going into the second. The Ignite. Turn it over. Young, all the way to the rim, trying to finish. He can't, but Ledoux is there, and he has a wide open layup. Two of 11 from the field, one of nine from three, and another missed lay-in from Lawson. High percentage look, Euro step in the lane. Nice job by Sané, who's now into double figures. Sané, another nice move. I've been, been impressed with Babacar Sané today. Hardy. All the way inside, when the scoring needs to happen, it's really been Amari Hardy. 
rebound, play defense, communicate, have great energy. Really, the legends have done all of those things. They've checked the boxes there. You would even think following a couple of open looks by the legend side of things. Wow, Leonard Miller, that ball barely got above the rim. Mika, of course, 28-year-old out of BYU, was having a conversation with Johnson saying, here's what you can do next time to be a little bit better. There's that one-two veteran versus youth combination. But these open looks, even from the free throw line, just don't fall. Sissoko cut off by Ledoux, has the mismatch, and he takes full advantage all the way inside, backing Ledoux down to the low block. Good rotation from the Texas Legends, but again, Mika, just better offense. And Amari Hardy. Scoring coming quickly here for the Legends. Now you turn around, and he's got 21 again. As his confidence grows, is that a, a positive thing moving forward for this Legends bunch?